Okay, so today is a really niche question. It's a question I've received a surprising amount of times, actually. How do we overlay words on our church live streams using a piece of software called Proclaim? So in, in all my experimenting, I've found two ways to do it so far. So let's come, jump into it and have a look at them. Hey everyone, my name is Dave Betts and this channel is dedicated to learning, particularly about photography and videography and things related to that. And hopefully I'm learning in such a way that it's really helpful for you as well. So thanks for joining me. Uh, let's kind of delve straight into this question. There are uh, some parameters that we need to talk about. Firstly, for both methods, we've used two computers, one for live streaming, uh, one for displaying words. I'm not saying this is the only way, but we have definitely found it to be a really uh, helpful way, a much easier way. It certainly helps to take as much strain off of the live streaming computer as possible, unless you have this like real beast of a machine. And also uh, it's just easier to see everything at once without having multiple monitors, which uh, in our context wasn't super practical, uh, also based on the power of the computers that we had. Um, and it's, it's important to mention that as of April 21, when I'm recording this video, uh, we're allowed to meet at churches at 15% capacity in Alberta, where I, I live at the moment. And that means that we had to find a solution that serves both our in-person congregation and also our viewers from home. So uh, this is important. I'll do my best to make both method methods as clear as possible. I'll try and do some diagrams and stuff as well. But if you have any questions, uh, do ask along the way. I'll, I'll do my best to get back to you. So two methods. I'm calling them the software method and the hardware method. Uh, we'll go with that and we'll start with the, the software method. Uh, on the screen, you'll see two computers. We're using a pretty cheap uh, Lenovo laptop as our presentation computer and a Mac mini as our live streaming computer. I don't think it matters whether you're on a Mac or Windows, to be honest. And also for both methods, we're running an HDMI cable from the presentation computer into a splitter and we're sending this to the main projector and also to our confidence monitor. Um, also, uh, we're using OBS for both methods. Uh, again, I'm sure this would work with a few other streaming platforms, but OBS is free and we are big fans of free stuff, as you can imagine. So on your live streaming computer, you need to download the OBS NDI plugin. This is really important. You know, assuming you have uh, Proclaim, OBS and the NDI plugin for OBS, we'll jump into a screen share now and I'll talk you through this next little bit. Okay, sorry guys, it turns out OBS is a bit of a nightmare when you're already using it for something else. It's pretty hard to record your displays and um, it, I don't know, I'm just having a real hard time with it. So you've got this janky phone screen. Sorry about the poor quality, but hopefully it'll explain it well enough. I've got a computer with an output. This is what it's displaying. And then on here, here's my OBS screen. I've just got me, an old message of me preaching, so it's easier just to do whatever we need to do, right? Okay, so... Assuming you've got the NDI plugin downloaded, what you need to do firstly is make sure they're on the same Wi-Fi. Very important. Then go to settings. Um, and then this is if you're on Windows. If you're on uh, Mac, it'll be slightly different. I haven't actually looked at that, so I'm not going to tell you. But what you need to do is make your network profile private. If it's public, it won't work. OK, that's really important. It actually took me most of the week to try and figure that out because it just wasn't working for me. And then here we go. It's, that's what I needed to do. Then, okay, that's everything you need to do in terms of setup into Proclaim. You're going to go to settings, display, scroll down. You can see I've already done it here. You need to set up an NDI screen. You do that by adding a custom output. Choose the name of whatever you want and make sure the output is set to NDI. Uh, and then you're going to click add and you're going to assign it to confidence. You'll see why in a second. And then click create. I'm not going to click create because it's already here. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to go to settings and we're going to go to default confidence. And here is where the magic happens. So you can create your custom templates here. So what I did with, I think, Chroma 2 is if you go to edit template, you can see I set it so that I had um, a gray background with white text. Um, you'll see why it was because I was using a Luma key to get rid of this black stuff. So I wanted to use the gray to stop it from bleeding into the, the white. Anyway, you'll see, you'll experiment that with that yourself. I want to kind of rush through this. So that's the... the that's the cool thing about that. What's also cool is that you can have specific Bible uh, templates as well. So that's not the right one. Hang on, let me try that again. Um, so we have the default one as Bible and open up. You can see uh, this is what I've got it, had it looking like for the Bible. Uh, it's good in the sense that 
once you set it up here, you don't need to set it especially for any songs or uh, anything really, it, it will do it automatically. That's really cool, but you are limited in the design. Uh, so that's a, kind of one of the downsides of this. But once you've set that up, you can click, make sure that you're on air. And then on your Mac, what you need to do is you go to add and then NDI source. Oh, there's a cat coming to, to play. NDI source, click OK. And then you're going to scroll down and you'll see death, just here, desktop proclaim YouTube. That's the NDI source. So then you click OK. And there you go wirelessly showing the same thing on the same screen. If you click lyrics, ta-da, simple as that. Now, if what I've been doing, I'm going to delete this one just to show you, is I've been having song words like this. I have three scenes, song words, and then I'll have a blank one, which looks like this. Then I have slides in the corner. Now, notice that looks ridiculous, obviously, but if you were doing a slide, that looks much better. So uh, you will need to get used to switching between these and having no slides. So let's say, oh yeah, we're doing song. We're doing a song, and then we finish the song. I would normally get rid of anything, any NDI source, change to the PowerPoint, the sermon slides, and then click that. Um, you can do whatever you want, but that is how you do it. Yeah, let me know if you have any questions. So the software method using NDI is great for a few reasons. It's, it's pretty easy to set up and maintain on a, a weekly basis. You have a lot more freedom with, within OBS to resize images using scenes and stuff like that. There are fewer cables. Uh, also big one, it's cheaper. Uh, as you don't have to buy a, a switcher like the ATEM Mini, uh, you can use a budget video capture card, something like uh, the Elgato Camlink 4K. Uh, I'll, I'll link a few, and then you can uh, connect your camera directly to your computer. Um, for low budgets, I recommend the kind of Vixia R800. Um, for mid-level budgets, the uh, HF G50, and then for, I think HF. And then for higher budgets, the Canon XA11 are really good. Um, the downside is that you're depending on Wi-Fi, which is never ideal on a Wi-Fi setup. You have fewer customizable options within Proclaim, although I'm sure there's ways to get around this that I haven't explored yet. And uh, it's also, much more complex for volunteers to run. Um, this option is, is fine for sure, but personally, I'm a big fan of reliability and stability <laughs> uh, and simplicity, uh, which is why I think method two is the way to go. So the hardware method is method two. It requires a video switcher like the ATEM Mini. This is really important. Uh, they're not too pricey anymore. They're around 300 US dollars, but I know that, that might feel like a lot if you're on a serious budget. And honestly, I, I totally get that. We're, we're there ourselves, but I really would recommend it. If there's any way you can make it happen, it's that big a deal. Uh, here's why. So we run three cameras uh, into input one, two, and three of the A10 Mini, and then we run an HDMI cable from the presentation computer into input four. So just as a side note, you might be thinking, well, hang on, we only have one HDMI port, or maybe you don't have any HDMI ports on your laptop. Well, we had to use a USB-C to HDMI adapter to make this work. Uh, then the ATEM Mini connects to the live stream computer via USB. I like this because there's only one cable running to the live stream computer. That's a good thing. That's really good. Uh, so then what we do is we use the ATEM Mini's chroma key feature to automatically overlay the words. So uh, we'll jump into another screen share so I can show you what this actually looks like on OBS and then what we need to do in Proclaim to make this work. So let's jump into that now. Okay, so I'm still on my phone. We'll try and make this work. Uh, we've got... Uh, our streaming computer now, which is the Mac Mini on this mouse. Um, the camera is ready to go. OBS is ready to go. We don't need to touch that computer anymore. We've got a presentation computer, which is connected to the A10 Mini, which by the way, goes into the, the Mac, which we will need to go back to actually in a minute, just for, for one reason. Um, so assume you've got your stuff ready to go. What you need to do is go to settings display, make sure that your display comes up. I've labeled it to OBS just because I find that uh, helpful for knowing where it goes. And then you go to edit, you can see there's a bunch of tabs. I kind of gave it away a little bit there. And if you click to uh, OBS duplicate, what normally would show is this. So you you know, so this is, this is a standard song. I haven't touched any of it. So it would literally duplicate what was on the first page. That's good. A good thing. It sounds counterintuitive, but you do want to duplicate it and then go to background. I'm going to go to browse media, but you would want to import what you've got. 
I'm going to go to Trinity. And I've created some smart media. So if I go to customize smart media, I'll zoom in a bit here so you can see it. Uh, customize smart media. And then what this is, it's just a green background that I made a very specific shade of green with uh, a rectangle of text. And so the text will um, enlarge or shrink depending on how much text there is to fit into this box. So we're going to assume that that's okay. Now, what's really important is you click apply as smart media. Now, this is already there. So we can see, let the glory of the Lord rise among us. But actually on the, act on the normal slides, what's showing up in this room will be this. So let's take it with a song that we haven't changed yet. So with this song, okay, I'm going to click this. I'm going to go to styles and I'm going to choose Trinity Church. And the reality is I would change this text so it wasn't so condensed, but we're not going to do that for now. Then we'll go to OBS. Okay, it's duplicating it. Great. But we want to go to background, browse media, get to our custom uh, smart media, and we'll click apply smart media, and then we'll see it all appear ready to chroma key, which is great. That's really helpful. Now, what we need to do in order to make this uh, viable as an option, I, we don't show the title, but anyway, that's, that's irrelevant. Don't show the credits either. But it, we would then go into OBS or we'll go into our streaming computer and we need to open up our ATEM software control and go to our Chroma sample. Now, on channel four, let me just show you, let me move this out of the way. If I were to click onto channel four on here, so four cut, we can then see that on this screen. So that's good, but we don't want to see the green bit. That's a problem. So if I were to go to the ATEM software control, you can actually, I can't see the screen, but I would hover it and take a sample of that green color and then play around with the key adjustments until I'm happy that uh, they would vanish, that it would vanish. So basically all you do, once you've, you've kind of fiddled around with that is you click key on up here, We'll turn across. Now, right now, it doesn't work because I'm on channel four. But if I was to go to channel two, suddenly it cuts out that color, which is a really good thing. Suddenly we've got this overlay. So that's the hardware method. Also, another side note, the, the great thing about this method is that we're able to use the A10 Mini's HDMI out to send a video feed to our cafe area with word overlays and stuff like that. That made our church very happy for sure, especially with the limited capacities at the moment. So there are some serious pros, obviously, with this method. It's super easy to run for our volunteers. You can switch video feeds using the ATEM Mini, which is easy, and it means there's no need to touch OBS after we go live. We can live stream into our cafe with words. It's all hardwired rather than depending on Wi-Fi. Uh, that means it's more dependable. That's good. It's more customizable on the Proclaim side of things, which, of course, is great. Uh, the downsides are, obviously, the additional price and the marginally extra setup time in Proclaim. Um, it... it it's not much, but it makes things slightly more difficult if someone was to say spontaneously throw out a Bible verse or a, a song that you hadn't prepared. So that's important to know. And that's it. Those are the two methods for live streaming and overlaying words using Proclaim. Um, I hope you found it helpful. If there's anything that I've said that maybe doesn't seem totally clear, just leave a comment below and I'll... I will. I'll be sure to get back to you as soon as I possibly can. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm actually really passionate about serving churches in particular. So it's, it's genuinely an honor for me to be able to help you in any way I can. So with that all said, uh, I hope you found this helpful. Like and subscribe if you want to. Um, feel free to send an encouraging word or something. Just let me know that I'm on the right track here. And otherwise, whatever you're doing, wherever you are in the world, have a fantastic day. And I will speak to you very soon. Bye.